Uh, hello YouTube and today I'm going to be doing a very quick tutorial on um, the shrink wrap modifier. Now the shrink wrap modifier is quite helpful when you say you want to do an arch like you want to cut a circle out of a square or something and you just need like a template around the square but today I'm going to be doing it on a circle uh, yeah, a circle onto a UV sphere so I'm going to start off with the UV sphere shade smooth now I'm going to shift a ab mesh circle grab it on the x-axis just check it over here rotate on the y-axis 90 degrees so it's like so so you're going to go in orthographic mode now I'm going to add modifiers shrink wrap now I have to go target sphere and as you see it went to the sphere and just keep above surface right there and um yeah although you think you, I know you're thinking to yourself that that's not a circle I mean like that's the circle that's what it turns out because the closer this is to the sphere the less distorted it's going to get so let's grab it move it on the x-axis to about about there and as you see that's pretty close to what it was let's actually add a subdivision surface modifier to this I'm going to add another, add the shrink wrap modifier in again. Okay, it's not turning up that well there. Just sizing it there. But, um, I don't know if you guys can actually see that because I can barely see it. Maybe if I turn off this dam. Screw it, I'll just get rid of the um, subdivision surface. Anyway, let's see, that's just me um, moving the, leaving it on the x axis. But, um, yeah, so uh, I'll just show you quickly what I was talking about before. See, as you can see, now you can kind of see the outline of the circle. So if I really wanted to, I could if view right. Yep. Um I'm gonna actually I'll quickly do this just for an example. So cut out all these Yep. X faces. Let's go to vertice select mode, grab that vertice there. G. Okay, that kind of turned out bad. Shift X, drag it down there somewhere. Oh. Thick up. Okay, so we're going to have to delete these. Uh, these faces that are still part of the circle X faces as you see there's still some there but those won't be too much of a hassle so let's go to vertice select mode just grab the vertice, chuck it down there I guess then all you do is just match it up as best you can Although, as you see, it's starting to um, morph to the thing, but with enough time, you could get it easily. But that's just a yeah. But um, yeah, it's the uh, shrink wrap modifier. Uh, hope this wasn't too boring. I just wanted to tell you about that modifier. 
and um, something you can do with the modifier. But really, I have used it. I haven't had the need to use it too much because I generally always do have a background image on, and then I just tap into wireframe mode when I need to, which is by pressing Z, by the way. So um, thanks for watching and uh, comment. And uh, yeah, thanks. Bye.